They're disappointed in what they did the other night, though. Confirmation of the two team changes. Usman Ghani in Gulbuddin Naib on the Afghanistan side at number three and Mohammad Nawaz for Fahim Ashraf from the first game of this just allowed the spinners to take control through the middle. Same Ayub, just uh, his second match. Plenty of swing for both the fast bowlers. And that's what brought a lot of problems for the Pakistani batters. You're talking about Muhammad. Ha Start seam up, a little bit of movement back in. Yeah, that's his own, isn't it? Edge, oh, that is brilliant. Absolutely stunning catch. Diving away to his left. Gurbaz pouches it just above the ground. An early strike, another one. This time for... Well, Abdullah Shafiq out very early. Oh, tight, really tight. I think that's out. I think he's hit. Has he hit his pad or has he hit the ball? Maybe it's an inside edge. He's gone upstairs straight away. Yeah, there were two sounds. Pitching in line, impact in line, wicket hitting. Pak team, stay with your original. And he's on a hat trick is Faruqi. There you go. Forget about that. He knows only one way to bat. Go after the baller. Good square for a Mazai, and that's into the gap as well. Lovely bit of timing from Muhammad Harris. He goes back to back boundaries. Feast your eyes with that stroke. Have a look. What a delight. Oh, what a shot that was. Cleared everything. Top sound of the bat. You know where it's going. They banged in short again. Edge this time and gone. There's another one. And this time it is Naveen Ul Haq who picks up the wicket. I was. He was the lone ranger for the Karachi side in the recent PSL. Batted beautifully. Oh, it's lovely. What a start that is from Imad. It was a gorgeous stroke. The first delivery he faced, yes, it was a half volley. No, nobody has to give him that ex, you know, information to be able to perform better. That was a brilliant hit from Imad Vasee. Oh, I like the way he's batting, showing a lot of confidence. Yeah, it's nice. Waited for one just to drift in on his legs. I like it. Let's go. Full toss, catch it is the call, but that should sail over. That was one juicy full toss and Imad wouldn't miss that. Brings up the 50 for Pakistan. Lose delivery to start off. Oh, he hasn't got hold of it. That's skied in the air. Will they get to it? Two men under it. And it's been taken. He's claimed it. Omar Zai. That's a good catch. He ran in from deep square leg. It was a top edge. It took some catching. Kept his eyes on the ball. And held on to it. To take the scoreboard. Ah! Oh, huge out. Huge out given. Once again failed to pick up that wrong gun from Rashid Khan. Azam Khan on that occasion. And he's not bothered to refer it. He's walking back. He has just one middle and he's walking out and the team is again. Pace on. Is there a little inside edge? They're interested. He's very skiddy, isn't he? So make it difficult at this stage of the innings to try and get. Clever. Very clever indeed. It's gone all the way. 54 Imad. Only the second Pakistan player to do so against Afghanistan. He uh, now sits alongside Barbarazm. Yeah. The... Oh, can't quite get that one right. Has it hit the bat or not? They're keen. They're desperately keen. There was a little noise, but what was it? No, there definitely was a noise. 
Doesn't look like the ball was close to anything else, really, other than probably a brush on the glove. Upstairs. Twin ball passes to the bat. It's a flat line. No bat in wall. Bismillah, you stay with your original decision, not out. Well, that will be four. Thick outside edge away to a vacant third. Two overs to go, 106 for foul up. Gonna inside edge, and that will race away for four. So a couple of streaky-ish boundaries in the last few deliveries. Again, Simon, just what we were talking about in that last over. It's worked out well this time. It's got the thick bottom edge. Go and pop. Get one. It might get one. Squeezed off the edge. Down to the boundary at third for four. Just enough. On that outside edge to go wide of the field at short third. And enough momentum to roll into the third. This is out on a full toss. They'll go again. They should go again too, Shadab. Oh, dear. Decides against it in the end. <laughs> He's decided to go for the run up. Yorker. Tried the wide Yorker. Didn't get it. Didn't get it right. And he got hurt downtown on the free hit. And that's well played by Shadab Khan. Yeah. He picked it as well and found the gap leg side, but we'll only get one, come back for two. Was the pace off into the surface? Shadab wants a new bat for the last ball. Yeah, he's not happy. He probably thinks there should have been one bounce into the boundary. Yeah, he did. And Shadab played it straight to the man who'd just been put back there. A try and pinch two. He should be run out. No, good dive. Very good dive. We will check this. But I think it might be two and we could be at 131 for Pakistan. Is it freeze it when the bales come up? Yeah. I'm satisfied. I'm going to make my decision on the big screen. Back to the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. Afghanistan now need 131 in their 20 at 6.55 to win the series 2-0. Can they do that? The next so 131 to score in this second game. And here we are with the uh, things pretty cleared out there. Raman al Gurbaz who opens the wicketkeeper batter. He's out there. And um, he'll make sure he tries and gets the... Tricky this power play from the first game. And then today Pakistan losing three. It's the first ball. It's a bit of shape. Yeah, that's Samanullah Gurbaz down the wicket, creates that line, and that's a massive six. That's gone on the roof. Wow. Hit one the other night, didn't he? One exactly like this the other night. Probably slightly squarer. Again, he's dragged that from outside off stump. Didn't really get hold of it, but it's a huge wick. More runs here, at least a couple. Oh, how do you lose that, Harris? He's a good fielder. He dives just over it. Now, before, when there's space on offer, there are certain things you've got to deal with as a fielding side. Part of the reason that I think it's Mangani. Oh, he's gone through. In two minds for a moment, yes. He took the pace off and that has worked. Yeah, brilliant. Nice way to get your first wicket in international cricket. It was a slower ball. It was beautifully bowled. Stayed a little low. But well, that's wide. Oh, Azam Khan has done well to get a hand on it, but not enough. Uh, that's going to run away. Hit down the ground. And that's the safest zone. And a welcome boundary that takes Afghanistan past 50. Distance between runs and uh, balls. And uh, he's asking for it. He's got it. If there's no bad, but Gurbaz has gone up straight away. 
Let's find out. Spikes came when the ball hit to the gloves. Hands up, Spy. Uh, Puck team, I recommend you to change your decision. Oh, he totally changed his stance. This could be a chance of a run out. It is. Good bars will have to go back to the dugout. And he cuts a very unhappy figure because he was sent back by the direction. long strike. Oh, that's a great ball. Great delivery by uh, Nassim. Ball on the batsman. Belling. But that's well bowled. Well bowled, uh, Nassim Chan. Just kept it tight. Just six runs coming off that 17th over. It's 101 for two. Chasing that 130 of Afghanistan. Required 10 and over in the final three. And they've got a single of the very first ball of the year. Edged and taken. Gleefully accepted by the wicket keeper. And that will be the end of another set batter. Ibrahim Zadran.